If you are a health coach and you are struggling to make ends meet, then this video is for you. I'm going to be talking about hybrid coaching, the rise of hybrid coaching, and what you can do to take yourself out of the daily grind so you can be working on your business instead of trading time for money. So for those of you who are just new here and you haven't subscribed, go through and subscribe. My name is Louisa Nicola. I'm a neurophysiologist and human performance coach. I'm the founder of NeuroAthletic where our mission is to democratize brain health education so you can perform better, think faster, and live longer. And our hybrid coaching certificate, our neuroathletics coaching certificate, is probably the best thing that you could be doing as a health coach. And when I say health coach, I'm talking fitness coach, strength coach, nutritionist, naturopathic doctor, even general practitioners because we've had a lot of doctors go through the program is the best thing that you can do to not only A, build confidence in your services and your offering, B, build confidence in your education of the science of human performance, but also be able to leverage a high thriving community so you can be building out a hybrid coaching program that is fitted for high net worth individuals. So let's get into it. Um, so my coaching practice, Neuro Athletics, where I've been, you know, we were founded in 2014 in Australia. I moved to the United States and you can watch a video that I did um, that goes through my story, but I moved to the United States and I started working one-on-one in person with elite athletes. Now I have a 10 person team And we have a thriving coaching practice where we work with high level executives and high level athletes. And I treat everybody like an athlete. I think that everyone should perform like an athlete. I used to be a a very, uh, very elite athlete, if you will, a very um, excited athlete. I don't know what you call it. I raced for Australia. Um, I was a triathlete. I trained 40 hours a week. And that's where I really built the endurance in my mindset to get me to where I am today. And I remember working in the grind, just trading time for money. I was working with these athletes and I was working all on cognitive performance, which is module two of our program, Cognition. And they were literally hiring me for the neck up, literally brain training them. And then I started to learn more. I started to understand more when it came to blood work, um, overall brain health for longevity. I was looking at VO2 max training and testing. I was doing... um, I was doing muscle fiber testing. I was doing everything, getting an array of different biomarkers. And so that's how I built out a hybrid coaching program. And I started building out $5,000 packages. And that was like way back in, I would say 2019, I was building out these $5,000 packages and it was like a one and done. I was like, okay, $5,000, this is what you get. I see you one time in person for all of your in-person testing. And then from there, I would collate all the data and I would then train them over zoom and I don't mean like train like a a personal trainer like go and I'm going to watch you for half an hour go and throw the ball at the wall and do some squats no I was talking about they go and do their own training I set them a specific schedule from Monday to Saturday Sunday I always give them rest days I would set them a specific schedule and then we would pretty much consult every week for 30 minutes and I was making a lot more money than what I was just trading time for money. And I had more time to do other things like build my brand, build my very high performing podcast, um, you know, go out, meet friends, experience New York City. So that's what I'm here to talk to you about. And I really want to, you know, I really want you guys to understand something. First of all, if you are trading time for money, if you're working in an office nine to five, or if you're working on the floor at a gym, I have no idea why. Evidently, you lack two things. Actually, you probably lack three things. And I'll tell you why I think that. Because I read a survey, and this was last week. The survey said that 87% of all health coaches don't make it to their second year of business. And here are my three reasons why. I didn't actually list the reasons, but this is what I think why. The first one is they lack the knowledge and education in human performance coaching. The second one is they lack direction in their offering because 
so many people come to the the neuro athletics coaching program they don't even know how to make an offering that's worth five thousand or even ten thousand dollars so that's the second thing and then third thing is they just don't have time to take themselves out of their day-to-day work of trading time for money because if they don't do that and then they work on the business they don't have enough money to back them up to pay for rent and to pay for their lifestyle and to pay for food etc so it becomes this self-fulfilling prophecy where they just don't get themselves out and they're like okay next year i'll do it or maybe i'll save up a bit it just doesn't happen so if you are in that position here's the first thing you need to do you need to really figure out what do you want in the next six to 12 months do you want to be working 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week, just grinding away. I've got one guy, um, he lives in Miami, really great coach, but he's getting up at 4 a.m. and he's training people on the floor, standing up until about 7 p.m. at night. So he's a really good trainer. He's great in person, but he doesn't have the confidence to build out an offering that services a client both face-to-face and offline. So there is this rise of hybrid coaching right now and I say hybrid because if we go back to 2020 during COVID there was a rise of online coaching but now there is a rise of hybrid coaching where you people do want to see people face to face and then you can also build out a program for these people where you're assessing their cognitive performance their blood biomarkers their supplementation their sleep performance and fitness, and then also their cardiovascular fitness and longevity. That is so much to work with, but you probably just don't even understand what to do. And of course, you don't. There's no, there's no course telling you what to do. It took me ten years of higher education. Like I've got, I've got two master's degrees, and I went to Sydney Medical School to really understand all of the things that I know now. And this is what I put into my six module neuro athletics program. I need to stop calling it a certificate because it's more so like a small group consulting program and that's what we are. And if you wanna know more about that, we're gonna have more information down below. But before I move on, I wanna share a clip of Dr. Andy Galpin. He's a world renowned exercise physiologist. He's also a friend of mine and he has been on my podcast before. And um, you know he hired me to, Uh, work with one of his athletes specifically on cognitive performance and he was recently on a really great podcast and I heard this clip from him in terms of hybrid coaching so here it is the third one is okay how do I get there what is the intervention what is the thing that's where I actually think people in my field are going to not only maintain but increase their value such as like personal coaches physical therapists athletic trainers, people that are going to, nurses, because you might have an AI that can come in and and run something and say, great, your numbers are here and our metrics say you should be here and then you should go do X. I want somebody there with me. I want a human taking me through X. That's going to feel better because we don't know, there's almost no data on, okay, great. Well, what is the optimal training for that marker? What is the optimal nutrition? That is really, really limited. So we have to rely on expert. We have to rely on people that go, I know the evidence base, but then also in my experience, I'm thinking about this this way. If you were an NFL quarterback and you tore your ACL and we ran all that stuff on you, you would still come back and go, oh great, there's a coach over there who's actually run people through ACL recoveries on 15 starting NFL quarterbacks. Like what's it going to cost? You're hiring that person, right? Because like you've done it before. Fantastic. It, like the budget doesn't matter at that point because the person's actually done it and they will be there. Fantastic. I really feel like our field is going to increase um, in the value because of that. They're going to want to say, okay, awesome. The numbers came out on this. The AI told me this, this there. You've done it before. Yeah. Done it a lot. Great. I trust you the most. I want you by my side. I want that companionship. As we lose more and more connection to other people, it's my biased opinion in my field that like, this is a great place where people want someone there. Um, online coaching is great. That's fine and all that. But you're seeing actually already a premium coming on like, you know, I want to hire an in-person trainer. Can you give me that person? Where like the boom was the opposite for a while. And now it's already swinging back where people would rather have somebody there in person for all those reasons. So Okay. So I'm just going to go through some of my notes. And 
that is just helping you guys understand what hybrid coaching is. So a hybrid coach, which is what we teach you at NeuroAthletics, is a professional who utilizes a blend of traditional in-person coaching mixed with digital platforms and tools to provide guidance, support, and accountability to clients and to also push them along their uh, their curve of shrinking the mortality curve, increasing their health span and their lifespan. So this dual approach enables clients to benefit from the personal touch and customize advance of face-to-face interactions while also taking advantage of the convenience, accessibility, and additional resources available through digital means. So what that means is If you can understand the core pillars of human performance, I think that there are six. If you want to know more about those, go to the Neuro Athletics website. I'll link it below. There's six. And we are living in a world where a lot of people want to pay for those because more people are finding out about health span and lifespan, finding out that they can increase the quality of their life and increase the life expectancy. And the only thing that is stopping you from helping somebody do that is a you either just don't want to and you enjoy being an equinox coach i go to equinox and i look at some of their trainers there and i just think what secondly if you don't want to do this and that means you just probably don't want to make money and you really enjoy working 40 hours a week face to face and that's great that's not who i'm talking to i'm really talking to the people who want to build out a better life for themselves and have a mission of helping the people in this world overcome and succumb the diseases that are completely preventable. You all know that um, Alzheimer's disease is my research focus. And it's just really right now in the United States, six to 7 million people have Alzheimer's disease. 50 million people worldwide have Alzheimer's disease. The number will triple. It'll go to 150 million by the year 2050. What does that mean? That means that People's brains are atrophying. People are getting these uh, these neurodegenerative diseases. Why? Many reasons. Around 3% to 5% of that entire population is getting it purely because of a genetic standpoint, because they possess the the genes responsible for these disease states. The other 95%, why? They're getting it due to lifestyle habits, which is really scary. And what I think is so interesting is most people in the world go and see their general practitioner, what, once a week, uh, once a year, if that, they go for their annual physical and they're generally seeing a practitioner who just doesn't really care. That's just going in there, getting their blood pressure taken, maybe getting a few standardized blood biomarkers and then they're off, which tells them nothing about their health span and lifespan. So these people need coaches, human performance coaches who can take care and be the board of directors of this person's body and brain. And that's what you can be. I have to tell you, it's not just going to serve you from a mission and values perspective. You know, there's got to be something greater than just money. There's got to be something greater that you're putting out there to the world. For me, I'm trying so hard to democratize brain health education, to make people understand more about brain health in a more free and accessible way. I do this through the podcast, through the new, through the newsletter. I do this through my Instagram, but there is more to it. We are, I I knew before I developed this course, I knew that in order for me to really have an impact, I have to infiltrate the training market. I started off with physical therapists and then I went and just you know, put it out there. And now we've had so many different kinds of coaches join the program and they're building out a hybrid coaching certificate really based on longevity. And we get a lot of coaches in here as well who are interested as well in training athletes, athletes who are trying to increase their cognitive performance. We just had a, a really great guy, Drew, join the program and Drew takes care of motocross drivers, elite motocross drivers, and he wants to help them with their reaction time and their cognitive performance. And I think, you know, when I look at the hybrid coaching model, I think about these things. The first one is you get accessibility and flexibility. So one of the key advantages of hybrid coaching is the accessibility, meaning 
you can work with anybody anywhere. I just brought on a private client who is from Pennsylvania. And yes, it's close to New York, but I don't have to see him. I can do, I've learned how to outsource absolutely everything from blood testing to VO2 max testing. Um, We are, I mean, look, granted, he said he might fly in for all of that to have his tests done here in New York, but that doesn't mean he has to. And so I've just gotten a client, a very high paying client who lives in Pennsylvania. And that is so amazing because we now have access to these resources. So the great thing is, Location doesn't matter. If you want to become a hybrid coach, location doesn't matter. The second thing is customized approach. Hybrid coaching allows for a highly personalized experience. Our NAC coaches tailor their approach to meet the specific needs and preferences of each client, combining personal interactions with digital resources. So you can really customize a program that you couldn't really do in person because when you're in person you are trading time for money you're on the clock you've got 60 minutes whereas if you're in the comfort of your own home like when I talk to my clients they have access to me they can come they can text me um you know they usually I usually give them my whatsapp if they want to text me at 11 o'clock at night they can maybe I won't get back to them until the morning but they have access to me whereas if you if you're and you know we can book a call we can see them whenever wherever I'm in the world So it's highly personalized to them and they have access to me all the time. The second one is effectiveness in terms of cost. So you have to also weigh up, right? There are so many people in the world with money who are really invested in their health and they're looking for reputable people such as yourselves, if you choose to do the the coaching program. Um, They're really looking for reputable people who can be with them in the long run so the costs of this are so much beneficial for you because I mean the client to personal training turnover is high if someone's seeing a personal trainer right and maybe something happens they break their leg they get sick they're stuck in traffic they can't get to you so many things happen and it just decreases your likelihood of actually making money therefore being in a hybrid coaching environment is so much more effective for you and it's so much more effective for client retention. I keep clients, uh, you know, uh, my program, my one-on-one program is six months, but most people stay on for years after that. And they do this because I build such a great rapport with them. They love me. They love the services. They love my team and they love the ongoing support. So if you are thinking about becoming a hybrid coach, And you're also thinking that you don't understand what to do, how to even start, how to market yourself as a coach, how to pull yourself out of the day to day, how to, you know, what are the, like, what do you have to put in place? If you're scared that you don't have a community, the Neuro Athletics Coaching Certificate is definitely something you should consider. We do this in cohorts before you even begin to, you know, schedule a call, go through, look at the website, look at our Um, Look at our programs, look at the testimonials, go to the Neuro Athletics Instagram, which I'll obviously link below. And also understand that you do need to be an experienced coach to do this. A, because it works better for you if you know the type of clients that you are servicing. So you also have to have at least $5,000 to start this program. That's not the cost of this program, but I say that you should have around $5,000 for this program because we teach you why in there. But um, if you are interested in this, let us know. You can schedule a call with one of our neuroathletics advisors. Um, Other than that, if you want more information, if you're not ready to become a coach, go through, listen to the podcast, read the neuroathletics newsletter. It goes out twice a week. It's completely free. The podcast is completely free. There's two episodes a week with highly credible guests. I'm talking world-class physicians and scientists who come onto the podcast and give you valuable information. Other than that, I hope you have an awesome day.